Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today is another review and I have I have four Mattel figures here from the basic line I have the Velociraptor Blue, Proceratus Sword, Spinosaurus and Dilophosaurus so let's begin with the, the Dilo so we have here the Dilophosaurus from the Fallen Kingdom line yeah, from the Fallen Kingdom line so the basic line oh, oh here I start articulated the basic line is these like big figures here with bad paint jobs and bad articulation. That's why it's the basic line. And like you don't even open the the mouth. You have some articulation here on the the arms, some here on the leg. You have a really big tail. <laughs> there. Like, for example, let's say our Adrosa Raptor, right? Here, here it has neck articulation, the mouth opened, is, and even for myself that, like, the smaller figures are not getting that that good of a paint job as before, it still, it still is infinite better than the, the basic figures. But the basic figures are more for people that don't have too much money to spend on the other Mattel figures as I'm going to you say more about that when we get to the Spinosaurus oh, for sure this is the only dinosaur, dinosaur the, the only Dilophosaurus that I have for Mattel in my collection yes I need to get a, a Dilo from the main line for me not too much going on I, mean, I have the frill here Here we have the size comparison with the Alan, Red, and the Triceratops. Here, size of the Dinosaurus. Here, out here, there. Now we have the Spinosaurus, and the Spino is a really good example for this series here. Because the reason why I have this, this Spinosaurus is because I don't have any other Spinosaurus from Mattel. And then, different than the Dilo, the Dilo I managed to find somebody that don't find the one that I want for my collection but the spinal is really rare and most of the time it's really expensive that's why I have the basic figure here, the arms and legs are articulated and the tail here they all have this same articulation here Here's the size compares with Alan, Triceraptor, and the Triceratops. Here's the size of the Spinosaurus. Here we have the Proceratosaurus. Here. Also same articulation as the other one. This one, of all of them, has the better paint job. The tail can rotate. And the legs. The only other dino from the basic line that I want is the Herosaurus because it has the Jurassic Park the game color, at least the one that was released last year. But I don't find that thing here in Brazil. I don't find the freaking Herosaurus. I only find the other, not the, the one that I want because I want that only because of the coloration. That's why I don't have any other sort of source. No, a Herosaurus. Here is a size comparison with the Trostraptor, I'll go ahead and try Trostraptor too, you guys know. <laughs> For the size measure, shortest of the all. And for last we have Velociraptor Blue. Here, the arms are articulated, the legs a little bit. I think it's because mine, I always put it on the, the same pose. That's probably why it's kind of stuck, but like, I can rotate the, the tail. And, the, oh yeah, the, the, the blue stripe is correct on both sides. Because it should be different like that.
Yeah, you can also rotate here. So it stands better depending on where you are but in the raptor. This size comparison with the, the guys. And the size measure here. There. About yeah, that's so that was it for the video. Thank you guys for watching and I see you all on the next one. Goodbye.